Hey, good morning. I'm going to put it together my CNC 3018. 3018 means the build plate is 30 centimeters by 18 centimeters. So you start with the lower base, and that's all of this. So we have two ends, two sides, some sliders. We used to call those blower shafts, but now they call them linear slides. So we have a stepper motor with the coupler. These go in the bottoms, a bunch of screws. They really only have two sizes of screws in the whole thing. These are M5s and these are M3s. So let's just get started. There's two of these. One has a stepper motor mount and one has a bearing. The bearing goes in the front like that. This one goes in the back. I don't think it has an orientation but it goes like that. We have the two sides. So there's the basic design. It has little feet. We used to call this bake light, near as I can tell, but now it's some type of a plastic. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it is a fiberboard plastic, whatever you want to call it. These go in here. And that's where the build plate slides back and forth on. Now, long ones and short ones. Short ones go on the bottom, long ones go on the gantry. That's four millimeters. And that's what fits the screws. So, you just have to get started. Now, these are pre drilled, and there is some casing left. When they cut the threads, they put some type of an oil on, and there's some left on this stuff, and it, you can see it right there. So, just start putting it together. Semi-tightening these. The more you leave them loose, the better off you'll be later when you start putting other pieces on. Okay, I'm just going to go across here and put all of these on. And those are threaded in the ends. And you just keep going to get all the screws in. So there we go. I'll turn that around. Okay, so I've got one end on, the front. I chose to do the front first because to me it's easier to get the sides on from the back. This bearing is the same thing as this bearing. Let's the screw rotate on one side. This is for the stepper motor. And it goes like this. So you want to be sure the stepper motor is on this side. From the back, it's on the left. Of course, that means from the front, it's on the right. But if you if you put these on the wrong sides, your print will come out mirrored or not at all. We're going to do this side first, and it's kind of monotonous to do. But you take one of these, and you take these T nuts, very small T nuts. There you go. Just put that on. You don't want to put it in all the way or you won't be able to mount it. And you just keep doing that six times. Okay, there we go. Got all six. And this is a very common method of attaching frames for 3D printers and CNC machines. Maybe for other things. So what you do now is you put it like this. And turn these the right way so they fit in there correctly. Now they'll spin in there, but you at least want to start correctly. And then the next ones. One of those is too tight. There we go. Okay, last ones. So what I'll do is I'll bring this forward now, come about an inch, but I'll get the correct measurement when we get to this point. Right now, I just want to snug them up. Okay, so now, technically, I can put the end on once I get these on, but I don't want to. We want to do the same thing again. And no less monotonous to do the second one. So you got six of these. There we go. So once again, 
I'm not going to worry about aligning these. I just want to get them attached. So I'll snug it up. Pull out this table. This is the bottom. This is the top. So on the bottom, I actually want to start mounting these. So two of these. Two of the big T-nuts. So what we want to do is put them on like this. Put this one in. Put this one in. Move it down there. This one. These on the end. There's two. Now I want to do one more. Put down here. There's three, so we want to do one more. Thread this on. So there's those. But if you remember, I have a drive screw. So I've got to put this together. This is the middle one, and this is what actually moves it back and forth. So we have these, these nuts, but these are anti-backlash. So they go together like this. Put this in. As you put this in. Now hold that all the way in. And you want to get that You want to hold that as tight as you can in there. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. So there we go. If you don't do this ahead of time, you're just literally screwed. I'm going to go to about the middle. Now that has to go there, so same thing again. I'm going to do two here. Now I've got a problem. Shouldn't have put those two on. Learn from my mistake. There we go. Now we'll just fit these back on. There we go. None of these are tight. And I don't want to tighten them up yet. I'll tighten them some. I'm afraid if I don't tighten one screw on each, they're going to fall off. Because actually attaching them requires a little bit of jumping around. So I'm only tightening one. I'll be able to move them around. Now here's where the fun part begins. So I'll just slide these on, and actually I got those in almost the right position, which is phenomenal, but strange. Oh, even that one was in the right position. You might have noticed I've put these together a few times. I'm not going to tighten those down any more than I already have. It is racked a little, but until I get this back piece on, it's racked a little in there, and I need to adjust that, but this is how I'll do the alignment, then I'll do the adjustment of the bottom. Okay, so I need to put this on, but I know that I have to put this on first. I don't have to, it's just a hell of a lot easier. So here is coupler. Okay, so I've got the coupler. I want to put at least one set of the set screws on the flat part of the shaft. That's going to help it stick better. There you go. And I don't want to go all the way down because I want to rub the body, so I'll have it a millimeter off. And I'll tighten this side. Then I'll tighten this side. There we go. 
So what I'll do is this has to be this way, so this has to be this way. I'm going to put the power cord out this way. I got these nice stainless steel M3s. And after I get the first one on, the line will be a little easier. There we go. And you want to do all four. I'm going to put all four in before I tighten them. Sometimes you need a little bit of wiggle room, but actually after two, it shouldn't. So I'll just tighten these up. Now, if I hadn't put that coupler on first, I wouldn't be able to. Because the set screws down below surface. So that's going to go like that. Now I can start putting this on. So the order of operations is important. So to get this on, I'm going to have to put this shaft. So I'm going to loosen these up, the set screws. Make sure they're not in interfering with the shaft. I've got to put this shaft on now or this literally won't fit. So what I'll do is just lift this up, slide that in. And I'll actually leave that loose for right now. I want to get these in before I start tightening up that coupler. So I'll just snug these. I won't tighten them. This will make sure everything is aligned before we tighten up everything underneath. And that is not in the right place. There we go. That's why it was racked, is it wasn't quite. Now, based on all of these, it can't be racked. This can be maybe a little racked, but we'll take care of that. Okay, so I've got the alignment okay. I actually now want to tighten these. Okay, so there's the front tightened. This will fix the frame pretty good. And if, if these middle parts are cut correctly, this should be perfectly square. Okay, so now comes the fun part. What are we going to do here now? That table is a little racked. Um, the case, at this point, unless I turn this, this will not go back and forth. So what I'm going to do is loosen these, what I tightened earlier. Now, I'm actually going to turn that down and use this bottom as an alignment. So it should have an even distance across the bottom. That's pretty close. And I'll tighten this one carefully. Tighten this carefully. Tighten this one carefully. Now that should keep it from racking again while I do the rest of them, but I'll still be careful. I realize it's unlikely this would be all the way forward, but still want to do that. Uh, that one wasn't quite lined up good, but that now it is. This is really a crappy wrench for torquing. Okay. So there's the frame. Step one. So I got everything together. This is pretty good. I didn't tighten that down yet so that I still have ability to move this. And that actually looks pretty square. I don't need to adjust that quite yet. Uh, I can use a uh, pronger face to move that back and forth if I need to. Okay, so there is the base frame. Instead of making one huge video, I'm gonna do two or three. I already did the unboxing. This is the base frame. We'll do the gantry, then we'll do the wiring, then we'll do first use. So, pretty simple. If you follow the right steps, learn from my mistakes. So, there we go. Frame completed. If you liked the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.